uh, get block hash. For example, Bitcoin CLI, Bitcoin CLI get block hash. For example, I want to know the 10th block. I mean, in 2009, this is created by Satoshi. So, it's again taking some time. However, what's happening here when I do get block hash, it should give me the block hash here. So, what's happening actually is uh, so as you can see in the block.h, this get hash, this method is being called. Okay. So, in the C block header, uh, as you can see, this is a block header, and in the C block, in the C block, in the block, uh, this is the, actually the block class. As you can, so in a C block, it 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 will have uh, the transaction. This 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 will have a Merkle tree, and this this will this is a constructor class, and initially is just setting the now and as you can see, C block get serialize unserialize set now get block header build get Merkle branch. We haven't talked about Merkle tree uh, and why we need a Merkle tree. So Merkle tree uh, just uh, is a way to to uh, quickly find out the transaction. Okay, in the in the in the in the in the, uh, in the blockchain. Okay. So these are block locator, CLI, unserialized set now is now. So today we went through uh, Bitcoin block code and the Bitcoin block. I think it should be now uh, fairly uh, fairly clear to you how Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin uh, block has been coded, and we'll gradually go through. Um, uh, Bitcoin transaction from now on in my videos I'll talk about mostly the Bitcoin transactions, Bitcoin mining and lots of other stuff. Um, I think I already touched them slightly in previous videos and in these videos but I will go through uh, in detail uh, in theory and also in terms of the code or um, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, Bitcoin development, and I'll try to be uh, try to make it interesting a little and a little bit different. I know a lot of other people are creating Bitcoin tutorial, and uh, there are some people who are even better than me. And uh, I'm still learning, and uh, I recommend uh, this book by is called Mastering Bitcoin by uh, Andreas Antonopoulos. Actually, I made him on Chicago Bitcoin meetup once and I uh, bought his book. He signed the book for me and it's a very, very interesting read. And if you, if you actually, I was just reading, reading the book, but in the back side of the book, uh, in the back side of the book, there's um, a comment by Gavin Anderson. So, Gavin uh, wrote about the book that everybody asks him that uh, that uh, what is the how Bitcoin works and he said like uh, now he has a very good answer that he can just point to this book by Andreas Antonopoulos uh, I mean which describes uh, everything it is very detailed I, I also didn't finish reading this book and uh, and uh, so this is the PDF of the book. Okay, so you can just search "mastering Bitcoin" and it, you'll find it. And I will seriously recommend if you want to know in detail. And uh, you you can have a lot of. Um, I I will also try to explain a lot of things that I have learned from this book. And this is "mastering Bitcoin." Uh, so. Uh, I will I will go along with along with this book uh, and describe about how Bitcoin works and because it's fascinating. Okay, thank you viewer and thank you very much.